Arrogance is a nasty, nasty little disorder of the mind. For you see, here's the simple truth. I'm going to start this video with the crux of the matter, which is that if you have to be arrogant, you are covering for weakness. It's that simple. If you cannot stand the idea of not being great at something, not being the best, not being well-loved, not being anything perfect, then you are weak. You're very fundamentally weak, too. Because, and this might be a shock to a few people out there that I'm actually talking about, you're imperfect. You're human. You are flawed. And nobody ever can escape this simple truth of being alive in this world. It's imperfect world making imperfect people who make imperfect choices. And most of us can accept these truths. We don't always like them. We're all, we might be very uncomfortable with them. We might feel weak because we're weak. But that is where we find our humanity, is it not? By learning that we are flawed and weak. We can work with other people to overcome the challenges together by that fundamental understanding that alone we are weak and imperfect. And that awareness, the awareness of that one truth, is the source of real strength. Because step one to being a strong person is to admit that you have weaknesses. And then you can move on to the all-important step two, which is, since I have weaknesses, what can I do to ameliorate them? That is where strength lies, the acceptance and the moving on from it. If you are one of those people, though, that has to sit there and say, well, I'm not bad at that, while clearly sucking at it. Oh, no, it's not my fault. It, it's that thing and other stuff out of my control completely. I can't be bad at things. People can't not like me. Or I can't ever admit that I did something wrong. Well, not only did you fail at step one, but you were going to fail at step two, the working together to ameliorate your problems with the help of other people. You're going to miss that because... You know what's insufferable? An arrogant prick. And they do go together, arrogance and being a prick. If you cannot admit to your own flaws, you're going to come off as an asshole. Maybe you don't mean to. Maybe you're just insecure and your method of dealing with that insecurity is to bluff a greater strength than you, anyone could possibly have. Well, I get that. I actually do understand that. I get it. But you're insufferable because of it. Nobody likes someone who likes to pretend they're good at everything. It just pisses people off. Sorry, but it does. When you walk into a situation and then pretty much act like, well, now everything's twice as good because I just showed up, people resent that, and rightly so. Not it only is it, though, just a personality flaw, but it becomes real, and it becomes a problem for everybody else quickly. Because when you're that guy who cannot admit you're bad at something, you're going to try it, you're going to suck at it, and you're going to blame somebody else for your problems. And then you know what? Other people are going to have to clean up after your shit because you couldn't hack it and because you wouldn't admit that you couldn't hack it. You know, it's like a guy who is a manager, right, at a business, except he sucks at managing. Well, are you going to work for that guy? Unless you have to, no. And are you going to enjoy it if you do? No, you're not. Because he's bad at his job. Simple enough. Everybody can get that, I'm sure. Or, as an example, let's say you get lost somewhere. You have two choices. One, admit that you are lost and try to figure out where you are. Or two, keep driving because damn it, I'll find it. <laughs> Which one of these seems smart, I ask you? Objectively speaking, one of them, it, you must admit you have a flaw here, yes, but you can move on. Okay, I'm lost. I fucked up. What do I do to fix it? Or two, I can't be lost. I can't stop to ask for directions. I'll figure it out. One of these people finds their destination in 20 minutes. The other might find it in two hours, unless he gets lucky. So, as a quick little piece of advice, if you think that I am talking about you specifically here, or I'm calling you out, take a moment to think, well, why can't I admit that I can fuck up? Why can't I admit that, just like everybody else on the planet, I have flaws? And why can't I admit that to other people? Think about that carefully, and then think about what that says about your flaws already. Isn't that itself a flaw? Your pretensions of arrogance and perfection? 
you just advertise to everybody around you that I am too insecure with my existence to admit to my flaws. And that's all it really comes across to the rest of us as. We're not impressed, I assure you. When you walk into a situation like, it's okay guys, I'm show I've showed up, you all can now finally have fun. <laughs> well, everybody looks at you and goes, what the fuck is this dude thinking? Maybe they don't say it. Maybe they deal with your insufferability because they have to or because there's other qualities of you that are okay. But nobody actually likes that shit. I'm just telling you, as a friendly piece of advice, it pisses the rest of us off. So, do yourself a favor. Get enough real pride in your strengths to admit to your weaknesses without feeling insecure and belittled. And if you can do that, maybe then you can actually have something worth tooting your own horn over instead of trying to pretend you're good at everything ever. Just something to think about.